Yo, what's going on guys? It is your boy Sessa here bringing you guys yet another Fiverr redesigning video, this time though with your logos. I asked you guys a few weeks ago to give me some logos to actually get redesigned and we landed with Dropshipped and Upskill. And the most amazing part is that this video is actually sponsored by Fiverr, giving us enough cash to do three ranges of budgets per logo. Please be sure to actually check out Fiverr in the link in the description down below, but also all the Fiverr designers that are in this video will also be linked. With these two logo designs, they were each fully developed with a full on brief that basically just had one character to them to really help guide the logo. So for a dropship, we asked the logo to have more personality and have a bit of a trust value to it. Alongside with the actual visual pillars being trustworthy, friendly, and assertive. And for upskill, we asked for those fiber designers to actually incorporate the idea of step-by-step -step within the upskill logo, with their visual pillars being inviting, friendly, and educational. So everyone got the same exact brief, kind of like a little mini brief wars. And the process was also incredibly simple. I went ahead and picked my budget and found my actual artist that I want to go with, check out the portfolio right on the page itself. Then I actually went ahead and saw how many logo options and revisions I got for the price. I liked what I saw and I pressed continue. As soon as I made my purchase, Fiverr made it incredibly easy for me to actually input my brief and just share with the actual Fiverr designer of what I'm actually looking to do. Some designers had very few boxes, some designers had a bunch of boxes, but regardless, all the designers got the same exact brief with no other further explanation, giving them full creative control. So what happens is at that first round, this is that's just basically it. They have no other revisions. I ask for nothing and guidance. I want to see how they react to my actual brief first. Just that's just first impressions. So let's finally hop into it and see what we actually got. I'm a little nervous, not gonna lie to you. Uh, okay, so we're probably gonna start with drop shipped. It's gonna be the $25, the $50, and the $75 option. Now, really quick, Jay, if you can just throw out the logo that we had, of course, to for them to actually revamp. Uh, so don't forget, the whole goal of this is to make sure that they did a better job than the previous logo, or at least made it, you know, more clear or something like that, right? Oh, this is so much weirder when it's actually like, I don't even get to get a first impression I need to make. Okay, okay, here we go. <laughs> All right, so for the $25 order, I'm clicking. Okay, let, let, let me consume this for a second. My immediate attention, right, goes to actually option number one. Option number two for me feels more like a like a satellite, like a, a, a what does it feel like? Is it like Spectrum or Optum? I don't know, some kind of internet provider. It feels more like an internet provider for that because I have no real reason of why we're going from like R to D. Like I would get it if it was like somehow A to Z or something like the Amazon kind of thing, but I have no real idea of what I mean by this. I don't know. Anyway, we do have two options for $25. Now option number one, actually, I'm actually not disappointed at all on this one. Like if I'm being completely honest with you, I actually do kind of enjoy the actual pin with the actual sort of like, you know, box in it. Obviously it's missing color. And of course these guys had no revisions. However, I mean, I could see why I still do something like this, right? Well, one second. So really quick, this is what I ended up doing. I just added some color to it because this is, of course, what you would go through Fiverr, go back into the actual messages, ask them, hey, I want revisions on this, that, and this. And then, of course, do this kind of stuff for you. But I'm the designer. I'm just going to take it and run with it. That's the That was my goal for this actual assignment. So this looks actually pretty dope, right? Like the orange and like bluish tones to kind of add that trust value to it. The more kind of like, I guess the, the one thing I did not enjoy the most was the actual like very skinny typeface from the actual $25 one that we originally got honestly you just kind of fix that little typeface you actually get some color to that icon of course it actually looks pretty freaking dope like honestly i'm not disappointed with this 25 dollar option because i of course got a really cool concept and again i think this one over here the other option was a little bit kind of just like i don't know i don't it did it, it, it was a miss for me but that's okay you know all right so it's time for the next concept the 50 dollar option let's just see what we get right here right now three two one Okay, so this is a very like sort of like minimalist icon kind of gives me a little bit of like drop box vibes in a way But also still has its own identity in a way like not connecting the actual box itself Which I don't know if you, you if I get like trust from that I want my box to be secure This might be a little bit more of an off kind of like me just kind of like digging for a problem But honestly, I really enjoy the typeface here Although my uh, option I just kind of showed you guys two seconds ago um, the one I like recolored my option of my text is like nice and fat and like bold yeah, yeah, realistically, this font is actually really nice for this too, actually. I mean, it's it's simple, it's clean, it's to the point. There are some things, like I, like I said before, I, I mentioned in the brief, I want it to be trustworthy and like have that sense of like assertive and friendly a look. And I honestly, it actually does look pretty assertive with the actual options of like the text being a little more sharper toned, um, the more like sharper edged lines. And then, I mean, nah, 
the more I think about it, the more I actually can see how much he put into the actual aspect of making sure he really took those key words and applied them. I mean, for the record, $25, $50, $75, regardless of how much is charged in this video, it's it's stupidly inexpensive for what these guys are producing for us, of course, in a short amount of time. So when I think about it, the $50 option, I, I wish I got more than one option, to be honest, but I do think this is a very, very strong option to go with because this is sort of like, I can see this personally as like a shell where I can kind of like take it, like me 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 mess around with it a little bit, but I just wanted a little bit more because the $25 option kind of gave me quite a lot to be honest right i'm honestly curious what you guys consider but i'm ready to see the 75 dollar option are we ready three two ah oh, hold on oh please 75 bucks go oh right away i enjoy that i got four immediate concepts i'm completely honest three of these immediately are like sticking out as very very strong this right here right the sort of like cool like parachute drop shift kind of like that Dang, that's actually kind of fire, huh? Nah, I, I actually really messed with that. The more I think about it, I mean, that's it's dropping and it's shipped. It's a box, it's closed box. Feels nice and tight. And I also like the little adjustment of that little shot on the bottom. Very, very nice. Um, This one right here, drop shipped. Okay, so this guy actually took it more as I actually giving the word drop and identity rather than just kind of like, it almost is like a drop as in like a drip of like a water droplet, right? So drop shipped. And then of course made the rest of the actual drop uh uh drip excuse me drop you get it you got the point the drip kind of like boxy and it's like it's, it's moving that's kind of strong too actually i do think though that immediately i think that the drip of the in that front part like portion right here kind of gets lost a little bit but i do suggest that if i were to go and be like hey can we make the drip a little more prominent uh he probably would be able to do that right that's actually kind of dope and then over here this drop shift again that one's kind of fresh too this is actually so so nice it's the simplicity of it i also think getting rid of that little droplet kind of gets rid of the over like Kind of hard like sell this drop drip kind of thing that's not like you know it, you don't want to think of your packages as like water damage i don't know that's why i'm thinking about it like that but if we're just getting rid of that drip for a second like this like when i look at this i actually can appreciate this just a little bit more i mean no no wait a second all right hold on follow me for a second but if i go like this hold up hold up boom oh well wait hold on boom you know if i do this now do we get another stronger icon or even like something that we can suggest and ask for more revisions on right like it almost is like an actual little pin drop right so not so much selling this quarter like like this droplet of water so for me i'd say to myself is there a way to make this like pin drop and like maybe like of course adding some more colors the grayscale for me is not hitting it too much for me but like adding some colors in there and actually really kind of like suggests that drop in the middle that could be kind of fire i'm not sure what do you guys think should the actual dropship logo be like the way that you guys see that he designed it by the way it's a really really strong option i'm stuck on this one i do enjoy this one a lot but also should it be flipped and should we explore like a pin drop icon as well i mean it could probably work right i don't know well i mean let me know what you guys think a or b right jay can you figure that out right here like a or b please but i also don't want to forget about this guy this this concept for me feels more like a technology like something is off about this one this feels this feels yeah what is this actually <laughs> I would just x this one out personally i'm just i'm not gonna get this in too much mind but my strongest and honestly this these three like drop ship logos actually are stupidly strong for 75 dollars that's actually absurd there's like a little part of me that feels kind of bad because these are like really strong and I'm, I'm if i'm being honest this top right one over here is ready to ship right now like i'll be like yo pass the ai file i'm using this i love the uh, the orange and like um um like darker blue tones that he use here i mean i'm really messing with this one honestly guys if i'm gonna like say to myself what do i feel like i got the most value 75 dollar guy just did like clutch four four and not even that he did four options but three incredibly strong ones unbeatable 75 bucks that guy number one spot for me the second place is actually gonna be the 25 option that one icon with like a little drop ship in it a little box in it very strong too and honestly it's, it has a little more character and personality than the 50 dollars option that I was gonna put last regardless not bad whatsoever i mean i i'm really generally happy with this i'm not gonna complain whatsoever so uh let's let's move on to the next one okay so for the next logo we have upskill right so the, just for your little quick little references this is the old logo that we had over here the the client asked to make it feel a little bit more sort of like projecting the idea of really like up skilling or up like arrow up kind of idea so we have a 25 option hundred dollar option and two hundred dollar option honestly we, we, get, we went kind of balling for this one because i think it was a little more difficult so uh let's start off with 25 dollars and we have 
Oh. Okay, hold on, hold on. I don't know why I was expecting, when I see $25, $100 option and a $200 option, I'm thinking $25 is gonna be like, like complete dog, if I'm being honest. That's kind of dope. Like immediately, I do feel like those tech vibes, a little bit more of that, like again, that, that digital age that it is. And for me, I, one, I mean, it's a little off center. I would probably make this box a little bit longer on this one hand side, but like overall the concept itself, can you actually complain? When I look at this icon, I actually, actually see this actually working as like a singular icon itself. I mean, the, the U and this up kind of motion immediately says the word up, right? So it's not like it's unnoticeable and un, like it's a little bit, you know, question. You don't really question what it is. That's actually really strong. The more I look at them, the more I actually like it. Of course, there's fine tunes, tweaks, and like an overall direction that we can enjoy on. But if I can sit on this 25 hour option, I get three revisions with this guy. I can go back in this and be like, hey, can we try this out? Can we try this out? Can we try that out? And we might find something like even better, which is actually pretty freaking dope. This one over here, again, is it me or am I not also upset about this? And I do think this the, the, the typeface for me is like, it's good, it's great. But nah, I mean, hold on. This is kind of cool too. I'm genuinely, I do appreciate this step-by-step -step sort of like graph-like thing. The only thing about this version here, I would try to ask him or figure out like, if we can like maybe change the direction of the steps because it kind of reads as like JP skill. I don't know, but you can kind of, you know, mentally say it's up skill, but there's something about it that's a little bit unlegible with this icon here. Not so much over here whatsoever, but this icon over here is a little bit un, like it's not as immediately clear, but also not a bad option whatsoever for 25 bucks two options that we can easily see we can explore both of these pretty immediately that is pretty freaking strong oh my lord can you imagine the hundred dollar to an hour one is just like dog in comparison let's just let's just go ahead and look okay the hundred dollar upskill option three two one i'm gonna open it first and then you guys get to see it Oh, oh, we got a lot. One, two, three, four, five different options. Immediately, this one over here is a little bit weird, but also I, I don't, do I hate it? I don't think I do. I can't lie, I'm not immediately of this fan of like this bevel kind of like 2012, like, you know, thing over here. It's a little bit old school with that like setup with the, um, the mock-up itself. But even so, if I were to kind of get rid of that, and if we can kind of, I would, I would actually be okay with like to exploring this one right here. If I were to like, you know, take this, uh, well, let me, where's my freaking thing? For me, if I were to take this and kind of take this wing over here and push this over to the right, giving myself more of a U shape, and then adding this air to be more la like a less sharp and like, like aggressively pointy, right? That actually could be a really simple, nice, unique icon on its own. Not mad about that one. This one over here, not mad about it either. It feels familiar. Like it does feel like a digital media familiarity to it. I don't know what it is. It might be the, the font itself or maybe the quirkiness of how like the arrow is not so much like intact with the U and the P. It works, but does it work for in like 10 years from now? I'm not entirely sure, right? This one over here is a little bit more kind of like spunky and fun and like friendly. Again, it's a little bit kind of too quirky with these like random circles and insertions and cuts. It feels a little bit like not so much that he followed the brief but just kind of did what he wanted to do it's not my favorite look whatsoever when we get down here i also don't feel too great about this one over here this was kind of taking from the original logo by the way with this kind of like you know a uh, uh, light bulb area going on here but I, I do see like this digital academy kind of idea with the, the cap on it. I really enjoy that. And honestly, I probably even enjoy this concept even more if it didn't even have the, the light bulb in there. It just feels like an afterthought for me. And then this guy over here, it kind of reminds me of that one from the uh, from the uh, 25 or the, the 75 dollar option at the dropship logo. Or this one kind of feels more just like out of its own. It's in, it's in its own realm. I'm not really too sure what this exactly is, but if I'm being honest, I do think I got more of quality on the $25 option over this $100 option here. And also, I do think the $25 option followed the brief a lot closer than the $100 option. I, I can't lie about this. That's, of course, not to say that we can't go into this and kind of like ask for more revisions and be like, okay, yo, I like this concept here. Can you figure out a way to make it feel like more step by step? I'm, I'm sure you can work on the L, the U, the arrow itself, right? There's things that we can definitely say about this. So maybe this is more of like a first step for this person exactly here of course a lot of people work a lot bit differently right one person might be like i need more guidance let's give them the first version the second, ver second version we can really get it to what we want to actually make it look like right and some people just like one shot that thing and we're just good right what that leaves us is we're gonna look at the 200 oh my the 200 option i'm begging that i see two consoles immediately like that's it and then we just we just he just took some time on both of them let's just see what we got three two one
Hold on, I have to process this. I'm slightly disappointed. Uh, so one thing that I I don't appreciate like immediately is the actual font choices. They feel very stagnant. They feel like no character whatsoever inside of them. Um, besides the one in the middle, I do appreciate the actual font expiration in the middle like that's like what i can actually clearly say but it feels like the upskill is like you know aerial if i'm not gonna lie right but also the the quirkiness of this kind of like person running up it doesn't really it, it feels it doesn't even feel like a uh digital academy like I, I don't know why we have a person running up stairs exactly and there's also no indication of why he's running up in the actual con uh, icon here it's, itself and also if we shrink this baby down we're, we're not gonna really see homie right like that is like a complete miss for that one right there this one over here the k kind of had this step-by-step -step motion in that pretty cool we didn't see that before but is that enough for me to justify asking this person to create contests for me for 200 bucks which is also again not cheap in a way i know it's not you know up there with the logo standards of like nowadays but it's also not cheap of course this middle one here is our only like i feel like real export a concept but again this digital academy I, I i get the idea of like this rocket ship going up but it doesn't kind of give me much else but i'm also i can't suggest that i can't say like i want the logo to actually immediately feel like it's a digital academy and it can't be more abstract because this one is definitely more abstract but for some reason it feels very familiar is that a good thing or a bad thing maybe i i don't know if i've seen a concept of a p with an icon in it before i probably have do i feel like it's like catered toward my brief no this one is the complete a complete miss for me so immediately what i would probably have to go ahead and do is of course go back into fiverr ask him for some revisions i'm sure we can work with it actually let me see what his revisions are because again everyone was on the same playing field by the way no one ever got revisions no one ever got a message in i wanted it to be all first impressions only like you guys are going on the site as well so yeah with this person i could of course get three revisions when they have three logo options all psd formats all that good stuff right so i can still go in there and ask for revisions on each of these concepts and things like that so it's not like it's all lb all fail but this is just like first First immediate impression of what you get so if i'm considering all of that right there's definitely something here with all of these concepts so far but for me the 25 dollar option takes the cake i mean it, it did the most i feel like care to the brief then the 100 dollar option of course and then probably in this case the 200 dollar option was a little bit more you know less kind of like value to me at the 25 hour option now regardless though i do think a lot of these guys of course did a great job and it's of course at the end of the day you got to consider this in, in in our minds right it's also the first impression this is the first step when you guys are going to fiverr and ordering your own stuff but this is just the, the simplicity of it this is kind of just me taking this and making it more of like a challenge for these guys and they have no idea so that's the kind of the fun part too right so i mean if it's up to me i'm probably staying in like the 25 dollars to like 100 dollars range when it comes to fiverr for me personally because i feel like that's where i get a lot of the value and i think a lot of these people out there on fiverr actually they're killing it with these incredibly and stupidly cheap co concepts here, but it doesn't also get the, the price tag on their work generally does not express what I feel when I actually receive them. Cause I, like literally all these, most of these besides one other option were pretty freaking fantastic. By the way, I know this video is sponsored by Fiverr, but of course this is my genuine opinion. And realistically, I, I, they told me I can do whatever and say however I want to react to this as long as I'm very true to myself and of course true to you guys. So with that being said, that is the end of the video here today of course thank you guys so very much again to fiverr you guys let me do some really dope stuff if you guys want to see more of these videos don't forget to leave a like and also comment down which of you guys which on upskill and drop should you guys think was a stronger concept and if you guys think the two I, I don't know the two dollar option but if you guys see it more clearly than i do maybe i'm just missing something but i don't know regardless let me know but yo Senso hq out you gotta keep smiling stay positive and stay a freaking product guys later much love peace and uh yeah don't i also broke my leg yeah, you can't see, but I also got crutches. I got the whole thing. You guys can't tell, though. It's okay. I'm good. I'll see you guys. Love you. <laughs>